Hello, I'm Walter Minute from Torvex and in this video I'm going to quickly show the integration between Visual Studio and Horizon OS. We develop a Visual Studio extension that can be used to uh, make application for Horizon OS. Those applications can be um, written in C, C or C++ and will run uh, inside a container on top of Horizon Core. Inside Visual Studio, we can go on the Tools and Extension and Updates menu. This is going to open the list of installed uh, extensions. We can go on the online session and search for Horizon. This is going to show our extension inside the Visual Studio Marketplace. We can download it. This is going to open a download page. At the moment, the download page is on our shared server. This may change in the future and then we can just double click on the file this is going to start the initialization uh, it's going to show the visual studio version we have installed and then it's asking us to close visual studio we can press n task to do it this is going to close visual studio and the extension is going on there are no questions no wizard nothing too complex there and at the end uh, our extension is going to be installed and available inside your copy of Visual Studio running on your PC. We can now restart Visual Studio to start looking into the features. First thing, uh, we can see uh, our devices. We can go on View, Other Windows, and then Horizon Devices. This is going to open the device list. It's pretty empty right now, but we can add a new device. We can detect devices on the network or over serial port. Here we are using the serial port. We can use and uh, we can insert the username and password. It's Horizon Horizon by default. Detection can take uh, a few minutes. This is uh, this has been accelerated for this video, and now we are going to see the device in the list. You can collect some information and you can see which processes are running and so on. First time is going to take a little bit because the device uh, it's rebooted at the end of the uh, detection. And on top we have the device so we can also see information about our device like version, module type and so on. This is the first step. The next one is to create a new application. To do this we can go on file, new project and inside the Visual C++ category uh, between the different project types we can select Horizon C or C++ application. Here we can see different platform this means basically a base container we choose the smallest one and we can use Horizon as the default user. If you need to access hardware or something like this you may have to choose root. This is creating a new uh, project in Visual Studio. You can see it's uh, pretty much the standard Visual Studio project, apart from the fact that you can see it's a Linux application. This is a pretty standard Hello World C++ application. Let's change it a little bit to add some variables to show some features later on inside the debugger. So we declare a variable, we change it, and that's it. So now we can also put a breakpoint and uh, we can start building our code. To do this, we can use build menu, but the easiest thing is to show uh, a dedicated toolbar for this purpose. Uh, if we do tools and customize in the list of the available toolbars, we can see Horizon. We can select it, and it's going to be available inside Visual Studio. Now we can, uh, you can see also the commands are inside the different menus but we can just use the toolbar to build our application. The application is going to be built inside a container running on your machine, so you need to have Docker installed on your PC. So we build our application. First build may take a bit longer because of course it's also building the first container image. So this one is going to be quite fast, but your first build is probably going to take a few minutes. After building the application, we can just deploy and debug it. Again, first deployment is going to take a little bit because it's deploying the image. We can select the device we want for deployment. Here we have an issue with the 
uh, time uh, set between the device and the PC, it may happen. And now we start the debugger. And in a few seconds, we are going to hit our first breakpoint. As you can see, the debugger has been stopped in the location where we put our breakpoint. And now we have pretty much all the standard features of Visual Studio, so we can see the value of our variable and we can move inside the code so we can run or we can step into or step over we do a step over and now we can see the new value of our variable this is pretty much standard debugging inside visual studio you can see all the features we have also debug windows not all of them are supported under linux but for example we have the code stack it's not very exciting right now but it's going to show where your code is and we can let the application run when it's finished we can stop debugging